friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney, and today's video is a DIY tutorial on how I made these salt and pepper shakers that are Ray Dunn inspired, and also I'm showing you how to make a Ray Dunn decal using your Cricut. So for this project, you're gonna need salt and pepper shakers. I got these at Target, Waverly Chalk Paint, and some vinyl. So I got a four pack, and I'm only gonna use two for this. Now, I could have painted the outside of the container, but I didn't want to worry about sticking a decal to chalk paint, and I also wanted to have the glass shiny veneer on the bottles. So I took the black paint and kind of dumped a little bit in one and started twisting it around, and you really just want to use gravity to have that paint stick to all of the different sides of the bottle. Now obviously these are not going to be usable for actual salt and pepper, so if you're looking to have shakers that you can actually use at the dinner table, you may want to paint the outside, but these are just going to be decorative for me, so I'm not too concerned. My best tip with this is start with a little bit of paint and then add more as needed because you don't want to put a ton in there and end up wasting it. Let it sit on another side, let it sit upside down, let stuff kind of work its way around. And then that way I could kind of see, okay, I needed more black paint, but I think I had enough white paint in that container. So while those were kind of swishing around, I measured my bottles so that I knew what size decal I needed to make. So approximately a height of about two inches, give or take, and a width of about one inch. Once I got those measurements, I set the bottles aside so that they could start draining. And as you can see, a lot of that paint is gonna come out, but then once you get it all out, it'll help it dry quicker. If you think that it's gonna be too wet, you can let it dry overnight as well, which is what I did after I applied my decals. So now we're gonna hop on over into Cricut Design Space. And what I did was add a text box, and then I searched for the skinny font and then I made it bold. So the skinny font is what I use for all of my Ray Dunn inspired stuff. And then I just went ahead and turned the text so I could kind of get an idea of what my measurements needed to be. So like I mentioned, I'm going with the kind of two by one ratio. So two tall, one across, when it's red up and down like this. And then this was where I had to use a little bit of finagling because the pepper obviously the word is a lot longer than salt so you want the text to be a similar size but you also don't want one to be you know half the bottle and the other one to fill it up so I kind of messed around with it I put them next to each other and with these types of things I like to use the numbers at the top to change the size instead of dragging the corners just because I tend to usually mess those up even if the locks on um, so once I got them to a size that I really thought would work I made sure that the pepper was changed to white and you just do that by double clicking on the right hand side and that's how your Cricut knows that you're gonna cut one on one color vinyl and one on the other color vinyl if not it's gonna put salt and pepper on the same sheet so next up you want to make sure that your machine is set to vinyl which is the dial here and I have an older Cricut but the concept is very similar with all of the new ones that I've seen so you're going to take your arrow button and load in your first color, which mine happened to be white. And then once you get everything loaded and you hit start on your computer, your little C for Cricut is going to light up and then you hit it and it's going to start cutting for you. Once the cutting is done, you're going to eject that mat and then you're going to go over and make sure that your next one is ready to cut, which would be mat number two on the black vinyl. Load that in the same way. Make sure you're still set to vinyl. Once your C starts blinking, go ahead and hit it again and repeat the process for your second vinyl decal. So then the last step before applying is weeding. And what I like to use is my Cricut weeding tool. I also have a Silhouette brand one. I like both of them. But you pick up the end and then you're just gonna take off all the outside. For the three P's, the A and the R, I had to take out those middle pieces. And then I added some transfer tape. There's so many different things that you can use for transfer tape. This is the opaque transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl that I will link down below. That's where I get all of my vinyl supplies. You can also get them on Amazon Prime, which is glorious. So once you've made sure that you've pushed it down with your squeegee, then you're gonna peel off the transfer tape. And for me, I thought it would be a lot easier if I made a straight cut with the tops of the letters so that I could put it on straight, which helped. So then with that clean edge at the top, I was able to put salt on there. You just wanna make sure there's no bubbles, push from the inside out, and then slowly peel off your transfer tape. You just wanna make sure you don't rip any of the vinyl. 
So there's the first one, and then I repeated the same steps with the pepper, just making sure that I pushed down everything. And you can tell that it's pushed down on darker colors because you can see that on the transfer tape. And that is how simple those guys were. Now, after I applied the decals, I wanted to make sure that they were gonna be fully dry, so I let them dry for a few hours upside down like this. And there you have it. These are so cute. I love that the outside is that sheer. Instead of it being painted with chalk paint, I'm gonna put these on my three-tiered tray now that it looks so sad. Once I've pulled everything off that was there for Christmas, I'll be able to use those for this next iteration. So I'll share some photos of that when I get it all decorated up on my Instagram. And also let me know in the comments down below, what do you wanna see me do next for Cricut tutorials? I know decals are one of the most requested things. You can do that on a lot of different things, cups, mugs, etc. I've got some heat transfer vinyl, ideas coming with some more target items so let me know down below what you're interested in seeing because i want to plan content for 2019 that you want to see so thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye